Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys? Hope you guys are doing great. We are going to see what comes out for you in this week's reading. Aries, please take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else. If you are just joining me, this is the first time you've clicked on my channel, I hope you guys choose to subscribe. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. All right, what's the energy of Aries right now? What can you tell me about Aries energy, the energy that Aries is in currently? So we have breath. Return to breath, calm the mind, and breathe. breathe. Breath is life, okay? This is giving me air energy. Some of you guys could have air in your charts, but you don't have to. Some of you maybe have been doing some breath work or meditation work lately, getting back to yourself, calming yourself, calming your mind. Uh, possibly things have been chaotic for you lately. You're trying to return back to center, I'm hearing. Let's see, what's going on? Trying to return back to yourselves or something like that i can't stand when my cards fall so we have cycles here discover your life's purpose we have self-love oh yeah so a lot of self-love happening possibly after putting yourselves in a situation or being put in a situation where you um were not listening to your intuition or you felt like you were in a situation that you deserve better than so really focusing on self-love right now. Number 24, we also have 29 here. We have six. Somebody could be born on the 29th, 24th, or the 6th. Discover your life's purpose. I want to say you guys had some type of person in your energy here that was like Mr. Casanova or something. I'm also feeling like you guys are no longer throwing pity parties for yourself because you know like that saying, you know, when someone's throwing a pity party and they do the little violin in the background, it's kind of giving me that. Like some of you guys are hopeless romantics or something. And this maybe has been your downfall in life. You could give in to love bombing or you know, or you were dealing with a love bomber, this could be a cycle that you always find yourself in where um, you give in to the love bombing or narcissistic types or something like that. And you're tired of falling into these types of cycles for yourself. And also it's kind of like you don't want a pity party. You don't want anybody to pity you as an Aries. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of ownership, a lot of taking responsibility for your actions right now, Aries. Tell me more for Aries. So we have the Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. And we have Paul the Venetian, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Yeah. So... I don't know if I'm talking to somebody who's actually very spiritual. You have this power of self-healing. You can reinvent yourself. You could have Scorpio in your chart, Pisces in your chart, Cancer. So I'm I'm getting I mean I've been saying this for a lot of you guys' readings lately that I I feel like I'm channel I channel a lot for Arians that have water in their charts. So you're not just action packed as an Aries. You also have like this spiritual aspect of yourself, but that's really good. When you combine Aries with spirituality, it can be really good because you guys have the motivation and the willpower to manifest more than another sign. You're not very lazy. When you really want something, you can, you have that willpower and that drive, um, to go after it. Okay. And you have that, that, um, leadership quality you know, to take care of yourselves and take care of others. But I feel like right now you're taking a lot of that energy, that hardworking energy, that leadership quality towards taking care of you, okay? Which is which is beautiful. And some of you guys are rediscovering possible or discovering possible spiritual gifts that you have. You know, you're using that to really power through this challenge. And by challenge, I feel like you guys are going through some heartbreak. Okay, 
truly feel like you guys are going through some heartbreak. So let's dive into that. <clears throat> if this is resonating, be sure to like the video, you guys. All right. Tell me about this heartbreak energy. So we have solo refuge and solitude's embrace. Singles find the strength to regroup and rediscover their path. So definitely I feel like most of you guys are feeling like, you know, you need to embrace the single life and use it to your advantage. We have controlling here. Power struggles lead to being manipulative. You know, maybe in this connection, there was a lot of power struggle. I mentioned you guys as an Aries. You guys do have the tendency to want to take control. You are more of a masculine energy sign. Um... And, you know, even the feminines tend to take charge, take control if they're with somebody who lets them do so. So there could have been a lot of power struggles in the past with this connection. We have temporal bonds here in the realm of flighty bonds. True connections waver but endure. So, yeah, also I feel like you guys dealt with somebody who was very like in and out of your life because of a power struggle. And I feel like whoever this is, Aries, you're finding that you feel better and stronger without them. You don't have to settle anymore. You can really tap into your strengths and your weaknesses. You can really kind of just do you, I'm hearing, and not having to worry about somebody who's in and out. I feel like, you know, maybe if this person was trying to take all the control and the connection, <clears throat> not having to deal with that is outweighs the energy of dealing with them. And it's like in and out, in and out. When they couldn't get their way, they left and then they come back type thing. We have celestial grace here. In special moments, feel the blessed touch of the divine guiding your path. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are in a very spiritual energy um, right now. That is your main focus. Getting back into your spirituality. Um, rediscovering yourselves. Finding you know you finding out the whys of a lot of things that are happening to you right now or have happened to you tapping into the, to the divine feminine i'm hearing i'm also hearing dark feminine so um a lot of times if you're really in your if you're a divine feminine watching if you're you know feminine energy watching a lot of times when you're in that energy it can be very intimidating to a weaker individual um and so you could be having a lot of conflict with people that um, feel like you're too strong, too strong willed, too strong minded, um, that you try to take control. You know, this could also be your time to question whether or not you have been too controlling in certain situations. So, you know, on my channel, I don't just cater to who I'm reading for. I tell you the truth and the messages that I get from spirit. So there could be you know some of you guys watching could have issues with control that you need to address during this spiritual you know period of your lives right now tell me what aries needs to know Clarify this Queen of Cups. I feel like I'm talking like you guys have a very, um, you're very emotionally connected. You're very empathic, like I said, intuitive, psychic, um, spiritual. And there's that water energy that I was talking about earlier. Um, the thing is, I feel like your your energy can go from being extremely loving to <laughs> extremely chaotic. Um, and as an Aries, you know, you guys do have a hair trigger temper. I say that lovingly. I'm an Aries Mars. I understand. Also, I'm a Sagittarius. So um, the fire signs in general, we can go from hot to cold pretty quickly. Um, or we can, our tempers can go from on to off pretty fast. Okay. So I feel like this is spirit kind of drawing attention to that that it's like you could be a loose cannon also this could be learned behavior i'm hearing like if you grew up with 
this, you know, seeing these types of things, like seeing verbal abuse, physical abuse, that kind of thing. This could be something that you, how you protect yourself, like how you feel like you protect yourself, Aries, when you know deep down you're a queen of cups, like you have a very, you're very emotionally connected to people. I feel like Aries, when you do pop off on people, you feel immediately remorseful for it. Um, but again, I feel like some of you guys, maybe the, the way that you react to not being hurt is creating this like, um, power hungry or drunk on power kind of energy here. And this is what spirit, I feel like this might be a call out reading for some of you. Um, spirit might be wanting to like, wanting me to channel that for you that, you should be kind of looking at that and making sure that you're not letting some type of power go to your head. So if you're successful, if you've been gifted a lot of things, if you um, have a lot of money or if things are on the rise for you, just always be sure to be humble with that. Okay, who is this page of wands? So again, I feel like I'm picking up on you guys' energy. I feel like this is a message for you specifically and not so much um, anything about the past or a person that you're dealing with. I feel like, again, um, there's a lot of exciting things heading your way. There's a lot of new new things that are presenting themselves for you. Uh, good news, good energy, success, those kinds of things. But be careful with being moody and up and down and withdrawn. Um, when you have this beautiful heart deep down, um, this is something spirit really wants you to work on. That's what I'm seeing. Focusing on your inner feelings, focusing on shadow work and not repressing how you feel. Um, understanding that, yeah, there's a lot of people that have hurt you in life, Aries, but there's also people out there that deserve to feel that Queen of Cups love that you have. Um, more of like if our society had more people walking around with that loving empathic heart we wouldn't have the shitty world that we do but I can also understand why you're guarding yourself from that okay so what is this ace of swords okay All right, there could be another, like there could be a divine masculine heading towards you that wants to talk to you. Could be another Aries that you could be linking up with here. This could be some new conversation that sparks up. This person's really focused on you. Um, they could be, you know, they could kind of have a lot of options, but I feel like this person's really focusing on you. They could be a business person. And they have that same kind of go-getter attitude. You could meet this person in the workplace. Um, or you could talk a lot about work. I'm not sure, you know, the Ten of Wands being on the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure how you'll receive this energy. If you will be open to this or if this will feel more like a burden. Because you guys are kind of... It's like you've almost made this decision that you were you're kind of want to be relationship free right now and focus on yourself, focus on your goals. So it's almost like this person's going to feel like a burden or something. Tell me about this emperor. They could have air in their chart, water in their chart, Aquarius in their chart. So this is definitely somebody that you have manifested. This is somebody that um you want so they're gonna have a lot of the qualities that you have been praying for asking for but you might be a little overwhelmed by it because your first inclination might be to close up or to treat this individual like you've always treated other people that didn't deserve you okay yeah i'm feeling like you're going to be a little colder with this person. Like you're not going to trust this energy. So it's one of those things, Aries, that could be why this energy is coming out. Now that I am, you know, now that it's coming full circle, be careful what you've been wishing for, Aries, because it's almost like you're going to get it 
and then you're not going to know what to do with it because your your inclination is to close off these emotions you're still not emotionally available yet to really have the this masculine energy that you guys have been channeling for a lot of you now if you're a masculine watching that's been manifested in a feminine just just flip that but I do feel like there's something heading like this person's heading towards you and they're really sure about the connection like they're sure about the fact that they want to do something with you they want to start something with you but I feel like you're not going to take them that serious because you're just not emotionally ready. I feel like this is what spirit was talking about um, in regards to making sure that you're working on this, making sure that you're working on becoming more emotionally available to people, make sure that you're healing and that you're not withdrawing make sure that you're getting your you know that power struggle energy make sure you're getting that in check making you know because as, as any sign can get arrogant fire signs can get very arrogant can get very very power hungry and we could be very hard to live with and hard to be around when we get in that energy and i feel like spirit is saying you need to get that in check so for whoever this is for i hope this message resonates for you I'm actually going to do an extended, I'm going to start doing extended readings as well as singles readings on the members portion. So if you're interested in an extended version of this, um, meet me over there in the members area. I'm going to be tapping into more of this person that's headed towards you, um, as well as some messages from um, past energies, okay? And then I'm also going to be doing a singles portion. So meet me over there with the members if you guys are interested. If not, thank you so much for watching. I hope this message resonated with you. If it did, be sure to comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for being here.